Researchers at Wits University have developed a potential treatment for triple negative breast cancer. This is a particularly aggressive cancer which mostly affects women of color under the age of 50. The therapeutic has been tested in mice and has reduced tumors uh, by 74% in late stage cancer and 94% in intermediate stage cancer. For more on this, I'm joined via Skype by Wits Professor Mandeep Kaur. Uh, professor, thank you very much for joining us. Now, um, this treatment, uh, how is it different from all the other treatments and how is it going to help faster to be able to heal those who are at an advanced stage of breast cancer. Okay. The standard treatments that we have in the clinics right now, they are very um, harmful chemicals, what we call as chemotherapy, uh, which is used to kill cancer cells. Uh, but the problem with those treatments is that they don't, do not differentiate between normal and cancer cells. So that is why we can see lots of side effects of the chemotherapeutic drugs. And another problem that happens in patients is that initially some patients, they do respond to the currently available drugs, but after two to three years, being on that treatment, they develop resistance to the treatment and cancer comes back and patients then they succumb to the treatment. The compound that we have um, in hand, it works very differently from whatever is available in the market. Um, what it does is that it removes it extracts extra cholesterol from the cancer cells because cancer cells, they need a lot of cholesterol for their rapid division and growth. And, and because normal cells are not rich in cholesterol, that is why the compound directly acts on the cancer cells and has very little effect on the normal cells. And that is why we expect to see very little side effects of, of this particular compound as well in patients. Now, Professor, you know, when you think about cancer, it is, um, you know, one of those illnesses that doesn't choose where you're from. Uh, in terms of this treatment, will it be affordable, for instance, to uh, the poor, especially because it affects uh, women of color? Yes, it is. It would be very, very affordable uh, for the simple reason is the, that the compound that we are working now is that it's, it's easily available even now. Uh, from the pharmaceutical companies in the pharmaceutical grade. The shelf life is very long. You don't even need refrigerator to, to just store it. You can just keep it at room temperature and it is stable for more than two years as it is. Um, and, and the cost, we expect the cost to be significantly less as compared to what is available on the market because this is not a very specialized treatment. Mm -hmm. um, now, Prof, I just want you to perhaps, you know, today being Nelson Mandela Day and us trying to say uh, or to give the, the public some positive news, um, you know, what would be your message to those who are at home right now, probably diagnosed with this stage of breast cancer and are giving up at home? I would like to say that the first thing is that in the disease, what works is our positivity of our mental status as well. So just stay positive, um, fight against it, and, and you can certainly fight against it because, you know, you, you need to take control of your brain and your body as well. Um, let not cancer direct you that how you want to live. Just live your life, be normal, eat healthy um, and, and get fresh air and, and get some exercise. These are the basic things like everybody can actually do in their lives and they can stay healthy for longer. And hopefully, like we are working very, very hard um, that we should bring this treatment to the market as soon as possible. And, and we need all the good luck and all your wishes here. And I wish all the people um, a very happy Nelson Mandela Day. And we must just live by, you know, his principles as well. Now, lastly, Prof, um, you know, is there any other, uh, you know, medication that your team is working on at Wits University for other types of cancer? If you could just let us in there a little bit to tell us if there are any other treatments that you're working on. Yes, we are working on other molecules as well in the similar class. Um, that molecule was also tested a few years ago, but that is a totally new molecule, not like this one. Um, we are very far into studies with that as well. Uh, but for the same compound, we want to test this compound on different types of cancers uh, moving forward for colorectal cancer, prostate cancer, esophagus cancer, because all these cancers are rich in cholesterol. So with this uh, molecule, we don't think that we will only be restricted to triple negative breast cancer. 
we would be able to target other different types of cancers and other different types of breast cancers as well. It's just a matter of testing it in humans. Professor Mandeep Kawa of the Wits University, thank you very much for joining us.